Oh, hello there. Uh, welcome to Cooking with Oil or Soy Boy. With me, Oil or Soy Boy. I'm also called Callum. As you can see, I'm just waking up at the moment. But uh, I'll be upstairs in a minute to make some breakfast. So I'll be making some pancakes with some cream and chocolate and uh, like a black forest berry syrup on top. Um, and I'll fix us a nice a nice breakfast martini as well, okay? Uh, I, I would like if you could go away whilst I get changed though. And I'll be up in a minute, alright? So in five to ten minutes, let's get cooking. All right, so we're going to start making the batter for the pancakes. So we need our oat milk first. As you can see, I'm using some Aldi oat milk, but you can use any you prefer. Um, then just a little bit of maple syrup. Uh, just a, a couple, of, like maybe a tablespoon of that. Then a pinch of nice sea salt as well. And finally, some plain flour. You pour in some plain flour. And then once you got it all in, you grab yourself a fork and you just swirl it around just to gauge the consistency of your batter so far. Um, I think I got mine about right. It needs to be relatively thick and sloppy because these are the thick uh, breakfast pancakes rather than crimps as they have in France. Once you got the consistency right though, grab your uh, mixer or if you're just using a hand wix, use that and then just keep swirling it around until it's nice and, and mixed up. Look at that, perfect. Put the mix to one side and grab yourself a small salt pan and put a tiny bit of water in it. Then you're going to grab your black forest fruits. So these are just dark berries such as blackberries and cherries and things like that. But you can use any berries you want really. Um, throw them in. A little bit of demerara sugar. And then we're just going to put it on like a low heat. Okay, just get it ticking away. This is my little trick for the salts now. Put a bowl on top of the pot and then add your chocolate. The reason for not doing it straight in the pot is it will burn. Whereas if you're cooking because of the steam coming up, it actually makes the chocolate better. Then we're going to add some oat milk and then pour that in and then we're going to add a little bit of butter just to give it some sort of fat in it, okay? So we'll leave that on the hob and then whilst it cooks, we'll make ourselves a nice fancy drink, okay? Grab your lemon, slice it in half. Grab a little dish and then we're going to juice the lemon. As with the limes before, you tend to get about a shot worth of juice out of the lemon. Depends on how good the lemon is though. But we'll juice that. Then grab ourselves some marmalade. As you can see, i got a very fancy bartender spoon here, but you can use a teaspoon if you'd like. You need your teaspoonful of marmalade in the bottom of the cocktail shaker. So pop it on in. Once you've done that, you're going to add your juice and then the spirit. We do this first because uh, the longer the marmalade's in the liquid, the more it can dissolve, okay? So pour the lemon juice in and then grab yourself your gin. So we're going to have a shot and a half of gin, okay? One and a half shots. You can do two if you want, but I think that's too much in the morning, personally. So we got our shot and a half of gin. And we're going to move on to dry curacao, or like a triple sec or orange liqueur. And we're going to go for about half a shot of this. So half a shot of that brings us up to about 50 ml of spirit in it. And then we're going to stir it around. The reason for stirring without the ice in is because the colder it gets, the harder it is for the marmalade to dissolve. So once you dissolve the marmalade, add your ice and get to shaking, okay? Brilliant. Grab yourself a fancy glass like this, very fancy I think, and just pour it on in. And you've got yourself a perfect breakfast martini. Fantastic. Once it's all poured in, have a little taste and make sure it's good. It's going to be a little bit tart. Um, you're going to have a lot of orange flavor obviously, but it is a pretty tart breakfast drink. It goes well with sweet breakfast pancakes. Now we fixed ourselves a fancy cocktail, get back to them sauces. The chocolate should be pretty melted by now, so take it off because now we need for the uh, berry to thicken and we need the sort of water to evaporate off of it, okay, and reduce it. So take that lid off, add a bit of butter into your pancake pan and put it on a heat. Once the butter melts, I do this as well. I make one really small pancake and I swish it around the pan as it cooks to absorb any excess oil so you just have a nice film around the pan, bottom of the pan but no over over too much fat and butter which will burn the next pancake great so now that's done just get the batter on with a ladle it's going to take about 20 seconds on each side or 20 to 30 seconds so flip it over and as you can see that's a nice sort of texture and consistency give another flip so it's done on the other side and pop it on a plate 
Well, in my portions, I do three pancakes, so let's move straight to the third one. We'll get that on. Now that I know I'm about to finish the pancakes, I'm going to put the chocolate sauce back on the hob just to reheat it a bit, make sure it's, it's as perfect as can be. Pop your pancakes on a plate. Then you just want to grab your, your sort of berry syrup, your berry uh, stuff. A couple of spoonfuls to get the berries on. Then pour a little bit of juice on as a treat. Make sure your pancakes aren't overly dry and stuff. Great. Then you're going to do the exact same thing with the chocolate. Look at it go. It's cascading down. Oh, yeah. All right. And then finally, some vegan whipped cream. So squirt that all over the top like it looks all fancy-like. Pour it on. Be careful because it'll start melting off pretty quick, so it's hard to get nice photos. But you'll understand. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow Oil or Soy Boy on Instagram. And I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye now.